So, let me go into a bit of context here. This happened today at the car boot sale, okay? Someone stole from me, and I didn't realize at the time. This came through in my comment section when I released my video earlier on today. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna link the video in at the end for the full car boot sale video. But anyway, we'll come to that shortly. Um, but I released the film, and the first comment that came on my channel was actually saying, someone stole from me and at first i thought oh no maybe i cut the clip and maybe it wasn't right but the guy actually did steal from me and it's left me quite shocked really i felt i'm quite an honest person and all throughout the car boot sale today children were coming up to the store and i was saying to people and their parents you know if any of your kids want any of the soft toys or anything on there absolutely free just help yourself you know and at the end of the car boot sale for the last hour i put probably about 70 items on the blue top and was giving them away for free to people and people were saying oh i feel guilty taking it and i was saying no look absolutely free of charge it's helping me out and i hope it helps you out i hope it goes to a good home but i'm going to play the clip now and right at the end i'll slow it down so here comes the clip A uh, pound for the monkey. There's another one as well. If you want them both, I'll do both for 150. I think there's another oh, one anyway. Yeah, there is one there. Go on then. Yeah, should I chuck you the other one? I'll try and grab it. Oh, it's had a thing on the table, you see. Uh, them ones are three quid, mate, because they've got no laces. Uh, two quid on that one, mate. It's complete though. I checked it last night. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. There we go. Oh, cheers, mate. Thank, Thank you. Oh, there we are. Nice cheers. and easy. Thanks, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Oh, there we are. Nice and easy. Thanks, mate. So I watched this clip back a number of times to make sure it wasn't me and I've made the mistake. But you can clearly see the guy picks up the Adidas football boots first of all. And then I tell him the price of them and he goes around and picks up the Nike boots. In fact, I didn't even tell him the price of the Adidas ones. He didn't ask and I was asking £5 for them. He asked for the price for the Nike boots with the no laces and I said to him £3, no laces. and without saying yeah that sounds good or anything he put them in the bag and then i was so distracted with other people buying stuff on the store i think at that point i had four customers and he picked up the other pair the nike pair and put them in the bag as well and he come round to the side of the store and that's why i've slowed down at the end i had already got change from other people in my left hand and he gave me a five pound note and i gave him two pound change from my right hand back to him so three pound he paid but obviously that was for the pair of boots without the laces so he's walked away he's not corrected me and said oh no it's for both pairs he's not mentioned that he's walked away scurried away etc now i always i always want to think that people are genuinely nice human beings and he genuinely didn't mean to do that but i have my suspicions that he did and it's left me feeling a bit a bit rubbish about it to be honest the fact that you know, we go to car boot sales and forget us as resellers, okay? The general public go to car boot sales and you can't even feel comfortable selling your own stuff without the fear of being scammed. Now, this has really brought a lesson to me and I mentioned it in my boot sale video, which I said I'll link at the end, that I need to have someone with me when I go to the car boot sale. There's so much going on. There's, can you accept this price? Can you do this? How much is this? How much is that? How much? It's, it's manic which is part of the reason why I went to this one today, which allows you to set up before anyone goes near your store and your stuff. But I'm absolutely shocked, honestly. It's left a really sour taste in my mouth. And I don't normally go to that Shepparton boot sale. But if I saw the guy, I'd probably approach him and say to him, look, explain it. Because for me, that is not the way to go. As I say, I will do anything for anyone. If anyone ever comes up to me and needs a favour, 
I will help them. If anyone ever messages me on Instagram asking for any resale advice or can I send a video about my photo setup or can I talk about what I do here or where do I order boxes from or X, Y and Z, I will help anyone and then to feel that there's people in this world who can just just try and screw you over. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on and do the video to basically say to people, be super vigilant when you're selling at a car boot sale because it's put me off selling at them. I'm not gonna lie. So in the future, if I do sell at one, I will take someone else with me. But just a short update video. I wanted to address the matter. Um, and as I say, I'm gonna link the video here if you wanna watch the whole car boot sale uh, footage with the good stuff as well as this. But the main message, guys, is just be super vigilant when you are at a car boot sale. Whether you are buying and people might be rummaging in your trolley, which I've had before, or if you are selling, because sadly guys, not all human beings are great.